Hello and welcome to Afis Concept TV where we give you the latest news, gist and gossips. To all our listeners and subscribers, we say thank you for always tuning in to listen to us. And if you are just joining us, we say welcome to Afis Concept TV. Kindly click on the subscribe button to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And do not forget to turn on your notification post to be the first person to get notification when we upload them. And now to the news of today, the headline. Greatest regrets. Dangote makes shocking confession over his refinery. See explosive details. And now to the main news. Aliko Dangote, the president of Dangote Group, has shared that a close friend who previously advised him against investing in Nigeria is now ridiculing him for disregarding the warning. This revelation came during an interview with Premium Times on Sunday coinciding with claims by the Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority, NMDPRA, that diesel produced by the Dangote refinery is of substandard quality. Reflecting on the situation, Dangote recounted four years ago a wealthy friend of mine chose to invest his funds abroad. I challenged his decision, urging him to reconsider for the sake of our country. He attributed his choice to the inconsistency of policies and the influence of vested interests, he continued. This friend has been taunting me recently, insisting that he warned me and that his predictions have been validated. Dangote expressed his frustration over the backlash against his refinery project, which he initiated to address a significant national issue. At 67 years old, I am approaching a time where I need very little for the remainder of my life. My investments, including the refinery, are not for personal gain, but for the benefit of my country, he explained. We have struggled with fuel shortages since the 1970s. The refinery has the potential to resolve this issue but it seems some individuals are uneasy with my involvement. I am prepared to sell the refinery to the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NMPPC, if that will benefit the country. The Dangote refinery, which has a capacity of 650,000 barrels per day, began operations last year after a decade-long construction period. The project, costing $19 billion, more than double the initial estimate aims to reduce Nigeria's dependence on imported fuel and save approximately 30% of the foreign exchange spent on imports. Despite these ambitions, the refinery has faced criticism. The federal government, through NMDPRA, announced it was awaiting news reports to verify the sulfur content in the refinery's diesel. Following allegations of substandard production, Judge Eneita, an NMDPRA spokesman, stated that while the agency had conducted its assessments, it would refrain from engaging in public disputes. He noted that a team of 15 engineers and scientists embedded in the refinery would provide an updated report on the sulfur content. Dankote had previously described the obstacles they faced, including a powerful group hindering its crude oil imports and complicating its operation. However, NMDPRA Chief Executive Farouk Hamid recently clarified that the refinery had not yet been licensed to operate. He dismissed claims of efforts to undermine the refinery's operation, attributing delays to the pre-commissioning stage. Ahead, Ahmed also asserted that Dangote's diesel did not meet international standard, a statement Dangote has contested. This situation underscores the broader challenges Dangote faces as he tries to contribute to Nigeria's economic self-sufficiency. Despite the setbacks and criticism, his commitment to national development remains unwavering as he navigates these obstacles. Dangote's experience highlights the complex interplay of business, politics, and national interest in Nigeria oil sector. Well... I don't know, but it feels as if they are trying to frustrate this man's effort. I know that Dangote too has been part of our problems, so him owning Dangote cement, Dangote sugar, and all of the sorts, making cost of cement so high. And then it, I think he actually collected forex from um, the former CBN governor 
to actually build this refinery. So all this one is saying that uh, they are trying to frustrate his effort and all of that. I know he has tried to build a refinery in Nigeria, but but he also is like like a part of the economy issue that we have in Nigeria. But at least he has tried to build a refinery. What the least they could do is to support him, give him the license. If he's he has substandard um for there's not the standard they should help him to make it more of an international standard and not try to frustrate his efforts with what he has done in the country and my listeners what do you think can you leave your thoughts in the comment section do not forget to like to share and to subscribe to our youtube channel thank you for listening see you some other time bye